All right, here we go, Pierre. Uh, uh-huh. Welcome to Vlad TV. I appreciate you having me, man. Look forward to being here, brother. Oh yeah, man. Long time fan. I've been seeing you for a while. Yeah, you know, yeah. Doing movies, doing stand up. Mm-hmm. You know, you're also doing plays. Yep, you know, yep. Which I didn't know about, but yep. you're telling me about. You yep. know, so you've been, you know, working and doing your thing for quite a while now. Any kind of way to bring that money in. Yeah. You know, fuck it. So it is. Yeah, yeah. So I'm ready, ready to rock and roll. I got a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff I've been working on. That's what's up. Yeah. That's what's up. Or the up. book, you know. Yeah, that too. Shit. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And the book is called? My 100 Homies and Phonies of Hollywood. You can get it on Amazon if you want to. There you go. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> so your mother is German mm-hmm. and your father is black, Smile. American. Yep. Okay. And he was in the military? Yep. Yep. And uh, where do they meet exactly? Uh, strip club. <laughs> My, my, my mother was a burlesque dancer, you okay. know. Well, in, in Germany? In Germany, yeah, yeah. Okay, so he was stationed out there. Yeah, yeah. Got it. And ain't, ain't too many niggas out there just to be out there, but <laughs> you know, unless it's an army. <laughs> they really ain't out there chilling and shit. Yeah. They take vacations yeah, out there. Yeah, like, no, sir. No, it's not sir. like Cancun. Like. <laughs> if a black man's in Germany, he's in the service. Damn that, okay? okay. So your dad was stationed out there. Mm-hmm. He goes to a strip club. Yeah, pretty much. And he meets your German mother. Yeah. Burlesque. Let's we'll say burlesque. Let's we'll bring it down a little. Burlesque. Yeah, burlesque. Burlesque club. Okay. Sounds a little classy. What's the difference between a strip club and a burlesque club? Uh, no tattoos, and she didn't drop it like it's hot. Okay. So she wore a little pasties and shit, okay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so they met. Uh huh. They started a relationship. Right. And they had you. That's pretty much, yep, yep. Did either of them have other kids at the my time? Mother, my mother had a daughter, a, a one or two year old daughter. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So they ended up having you, and then they moved back to the U.S. Right. Okay. Were they married or no? Yep, they got married. Oh, yeah. Okay. They made it official. In Germany? No, they got married. Over here. Uh, you know, that's a good question. I don't remember where they got married, but I know damn sure my parents were married. Okay. So they moved back to the U.S. Uh-huh. And you were how old at the time? Uh, oh. No, 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 no. Let me take it, let me take it back. They, they met there, and they, uh, no, they met in Texas. I'm sorry. They met in Texas, and she was working on what she was doing. But she was still German, and they had they had me. And two weeks later, they moved back. They moved to Germany, like that. My bad. Got it. And they stayed there for eleven years. Then we moved to inner city of Washington D.C. Okay, so you grew yeah. up actually in Germany for the first like eleven years of my life. Yeah. So you could speak fluent German. I need business. You know, I'm good enough to get some ass if I need some from a, from, from a young lady. You know. <laughs> okay. So what was it like <laughs> being being a mixed kid growing up in Germany? Ooh. Well, in Germany, it wasn't bad. Germany was cool because you know I was around all other cultures. Mm-hmm. It's when I moved to the inner city of D.C with long flowing hair like Prince on his first fucking album. You know, you don't want to look like that going into inner city D.C. with long... I had the Beyonce before Beyonce. Let's put that way. I look like Sean Cassidy, for those who know the Fair Fawcett and shit. Okay. So I got teased mercifully having that kind of hair. I mean, I was to the point where kids, black, the dark-skinned black kids, not just dark, but the black kids would tease me about my hair so much that I wanted nappy hair like theirs. Okay, because, <laughs> you know, when you look at you, you can kind of pass for, for white and black. Easy. I got, I got the rock Vin Diesel thing going. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty yeah. much. Yeah. Pretty much. So certain people thought you were white. Uh, mm, I don't know. No, Vlad. Once you got a little bit of black in it, at least the black people thought I was black. Well, I, I mean, black. the black people know what right. mix looks like. The right. white people aren't usually as educated in this type of thing. So That's true. Yeah. Um, but now, most of the white people I was around was when I was in Germany now, 11 years old. So, you know, they let me in the house to play with their kids. So I didn't even know about racism. So I couldn't even tell you how I felt any difference. Yeah, mm-hmm. everyone played with me. Everyone let me let, come in their house. You know, it's a little military town, so it's a little bit different where I grew up. So, again, the, I only knew the difference when I came to the United States, to, Germ- to uh, D.C. Okay, and it was a rough transition for you coming yeah, back yes, to D.C. Yeah, it was. I had to learn what was called joning, talking about people snapping, bagging, because I was teased a lot growing up. Okay, mm-hmm. and your parents actually got divorced. Yeah, once, yep. they, once you got back to yeah, DC. yeah. My mother didn't like it. Uh, I stayed with my, my uncle for a couple of years. Then my my mother and father came. My father had to go do some time, some some fair time uh, in Fort Leavenworth uh, over, over some business that uh, you know somebody brought something to the crib and left it there. And the police came and looking for it and blamed it on my father, and he had to do some time. So someone brought some drugs into your house. Mm-hmm. There you go. And the police found it. Yeah, the cocaine. And one, yeah. The cocaine. He, well, my father owned. They owned a nightclub. Okay. They lived off base. My parents did. And, they, and my um, and my mother owned a club called Club Why Not, where all the soldiers would come and stuff. At the end of the club, at the end of the end of it, they had like two bedrooms where the like uh, waitresses would stay at and stuff like that. You know, a lot of them was you know doing what they did. And one of them brought some shit over and kept it over there, and it was on the property of 
you know, huh. my father's situation. So they thought he had they ransacked the house. I came, I remember I went to school one day, I came home, and you know, I came home to an empty house was just ransacked. Them, them Germans told that shit. They pulled out every fucking thing, every box, everything out, and ransacked the house. And then my father had to go and do some time. So your dad got locked up in Germany. We got, yeah, no, but you know, if you're in the military, they send you back to the United States ah. to go to Leavenworth. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, you had okay. some time. Okay, so you got locked up in the military prison. Right, exactly. Uh, for yeah. how long? A year. And then, uh, yeah. It's not too bad. Yeah, well, it, well, they found out there was, it was a little escape going. But then my father had to give up a lot of stuff. He had to give all his benefits up, man. He put, yeah, put 22 years in that time. Uh, right, so it was so, a dishonorable discharge, Yeah, I man. Guess? Oh, I need the business, man, yeah. So oh, we had to really start from the up, bottom. That really messed up your whole life then. It, 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 it could have been better. In my life could have been better. But my mother came. After he, you know, he got out, he came, and they, we moved to Maryland, right on the outskirts of D.C. My mother yeah. didn't like, uh, you know, the United States, so her and my sister went back to D. C., uh, went back to Germany, and it was just me and my father when I was 11, about 12 years old, and from then on. Mm -hmm.